Before starting this video, I would like to mention a couple of things. Firstly, this is not a definitive guide. It's a set of tips that can help you achieve a healthy mindset, which can change gameplay. But of course, it's not limited to just games. These can be applied to real life scenarios as well. Secondly, this is a puzzle video. There are going to be clues placed in the video at random. You will have to find these clues and at the end of the video, click on the form link and submit your answers. If you get the answer correct, you will then be entered in an exclusive skin giveaway, the Merrymaker Cane for Eevee in this instance. You will have one week from the upload date of the video and I wish you all the best. Now, with those out of the way, let's begin the video. In any online game, there is instant respect given to the players that have a higher rank than the person giving out respect. Similarly, you see a lot of players refer to other players as scrubs or noobs if they are ranked lower than them. While it isn't as big as a problem in Paladins, it's still a problem. The rank system in the game is different in that sense, so you have a different rank for each champion rather than one rank to rule them all. In games such as Might, Counter-Strike and even Dota 2, it's a bigger problem. There are divisions, ranks, levels considered trash, when the only thing that dictates who you play against is your MMR or ELO. Getting a master's rank in Paladins is equivalent of getting a PhD. It's impressive to people who don't put in the effort to get a PhD, but to those who have it, they realize that getting a PhD is just the beginning of your career. So stop comparing yourself to other players. It's not healthy for your own growth and for others who are playing with you. So firstly, what is a healthy mindset? For me, these things come to mind immediately. Absence of negativity, keeping it ego-free, which means there is no pride, which will ultimately allow yourself to learn, keeping it emotion free, having an open mind, have confidence in your own abilities but not overconfidence and finally questioning your own actions before questioning others. How emotions affect your game. The formal word for this is called outcome dependency. It's when you tie an emotional state to either winning or losing. Simply put, when you win a game you feel content, happy and rewarded for your efforts or being positive thoughts. Losing will bring your emotional state of frustration, anger, punishment and maybe even make you feel incompetent. This means your thinking is going to be weighed down by your emotions so you're never focused on the present situation. Not only does this clutter your mind with irrelevant thoughts but it also ultimately hinders your ability to perform well in game. No good ever comes out of it. You need to shield your mind. The only information entering should be the information on your screen. If you're thinking about the past or the future, you're most likely making a mistake somewhere. Every situation is unique and you need to play each situation accordingly. Putting outcome dependency into action. Let's use Serpent Beach as an example. You, playing Makoa, could be engaged in a one-on-one -on -one fight with Fernando at Sundial. Your team is engaged on point with the enemies, but you notice that it's a 4v3 situation. Your team will not stop fighting from the look of things. Now, if you're outcome dependent, you are going to have negative thoughts. Why is no one from a team coming? This is pretty BS. Why do I always get put with selfish teammates? Etc, etc. While these thoughts may seem valid at the time, they don't help you in any way whatsoever. Being outcome dependent free means you will think along these lines. We are both tanks, but they have one enemy missing who may or may not be coming for me and my team don't want to respond. This information is enough for you to process and adapt accordingly. So now you have to give up Sundial and head on to help your teammates on the point making it a 5v3 situation which will put you in advantage. Remember that no two games are ever the same. As you may or may not know, I was at the first ever Paladins LAN tournament at DreamHack Summer of 2016, which was the Paladins Founders in Tournament. I've met with some of the most skilled players that the game has to offer. Talking to the winners, District 69, both before and after the finals, they had no doubt in their mind that they will win, but it was not in a cocky manner. They were clear in their minds. Once they were up on the stage, they weren't thinking about winning. Instead, they were processing the information that Kangana were feeding them. After they were crowned the first ever LAN champions, in the interview you can hear Bugsy talking in a very calm manner. He talked about how he practiced with his team for hours upon hours till all the skill became second nature. Building upon what Bugsy said, training for hours upon hours until his skills became second nature. Scientifically, there are four stages of competence. The whole definition is conscious competence. They are as followed. Stage one is unconscious incompetence. Stage 2 is Conscious Incompetence. 
Stage 3 is Conscious Competence and Stage 4 is Unconscious Competence. Now, I do realize that that's a lot of scientific terms, so let's use Pip as an example. Stage 1. A player who picks Pip won't know how the projectiles work, nor will they understand the usefulness of its curve. Stage 2. The players still don't understand how the projectile mechanics work, but they do realize the usefulness. This is where the player will start experimenting. They will make mistakes in the beginning while they're learning. Stage 3. The players now understand the projectile's curve and speed. They can hit their shots, but it takes them concentration. And finally, in stage 4, the players know the projectiles and the speed like the back of their hands. They can hit the shots without any thinking while performing other tasks such as either pressuring the enemy, helping their teammates, etc etc. Here is an example of a person, or well, Kami actually, who knows the projectile speed and curve very proficiently. Oh, I'm getting I'm almost dead. Kami, Kami, Kami. I'm coming slow. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ult. They're coming in now. I'm backing up. I have to back up. One thing to note however is that very few people will reach stage 4. There are many people that are busy focusing on getting the godlike plays that are worthy of causing the shoutcasters to jump in their seats and shout their excitement. So they will play these highly mechanical champions and get stuck on stage 3 because they're not ready for these champions and constantly having to focus to execute the mechanics, the combinations. It detracts the gameplay experience from them and it may even cause them to tilt. So it's much better to play a champion that's not very mechanically demanding to improve yourself. This ties in nicely with comparisons. A lot of time we will compare ourselves to other players. Sometimes it's the player that will show great mastery of a champion. However, we also compare ourselves to the players that are worse than us and feel better about ourselves and feel content with where we are currently. Remember, there are factors you cannot control ever. The best players in the game might be playing for 12 hours a day, while the bad player could be having a very bad day. The only thing consistent in all of your games is you. Don't worry about that awesome EV air shot or the missed evil mojo on the other players but channel the abilities you have already in Build You. And with that champions, this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it as I plan on doing more videos in this format. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. If you didn't, then do comment with suggestions for improvements. I read every single comment even if I can't reply to them. Also, as a reminder, all of the clues now have been displayed in the video, so if you got them and know the answer, fill the form out for a chance to win the EV Merrymaker cane. As always, I will see you all in the realm.